<sighs> so it's right now about turning eight. I am in the middle of my dissertation and as you can see I haven't shaven. I am a bit scruffy at the moment. Uh, I'm just coming down with a flu. Um, block nose, bit of a sore throat, just had a bit of coffee, try to see if that kind of loosens anything, but uh, decided to take a break and go on Reddit, uh, went on r slash videos or on the front page, and learned the very disappointing news of one of my favorite YouTube channels, and probably one of the most influential uh, factors to my filmmaking career. Uh, every frame of painting is moved on. Uh, in a, they're not dead. They're not dead. Thank, thank God, they're not dead. Uh, but they decided t that both, if I can remember their names, written and edited by Taylor Ramos and Tony Zhao, they are both moved on and have ended the Every Frame a Painting project. Uh, for me personally, I discovered it during my gap year uh, when I was 19. Uh, recently got uh, kind of kicked out of uh, sixth form for a... I failed one of my uh, A-levels. I ended up going around searching for a university that would take me and ended up all the way in Carlisle. Uh, while I was watching Fast Five of all things, it wasn't. I wasn't really particularly interested in it. I try. I finally got the Wi-Fi to work. I started to just look through YouTube, see what's on, uh, on YouTube that day, and I ended up coming across the, I believe, the Jackie Chan. Uh, it might have been the Jackie Chan uh, video essay about his uh how he blends action and comedy together and after that i ended up watching pretty much all of them uh all in the same night it, it was all the way up to like 11 uh like i basically stayed in my room from like s my hotel room from seven till about got to bed about 12 and i was just watching constant uh, every frame of painting videos. I was watching, re-watching them all in the same day. I was obsessed. It was like the perfect blend of casual writing, or casual discussion, and academic writing. It was such. It, like at that point, I I watched uh, YouTube videos on filmmaking and stuff like that. I had a bit of experience with uh, photography. I made a short film before that. And honestly, learning about, like, I didn't know that much about filmmaking, and I didn't know that much at all, to be honest with you. And it really gave me a kickstart in that sense. I never knew that much about editing, never knew about that much about camera work and, like, cinematography. And if it wasn't for that channel, I honestly don't know where. If I would have, you know, pursued film as much as I did, I honestly, right now... I'm in the middle of my uh, dissertation and having some of that knowledge in the back of my head honestly helps so much. It really did. Uh, and since every frame of painting, I can honestly say the amount of video essays on YouTube has shot up in the last three years. It's what I watch pretty much anytime I'm bored. I binge watch them to a unfair degree as such. I'm in the middle of, like, as I said, the dissertations, like, are just around the corner of about uh, two weeks or so to write about pretty much half of my dissertation. But I honestly, I love video essays so much. I've always wanted to do my own, inspired by every frame of painting and the other channels that came after it. And honestly, to see that the project is uh, discontinued, I'm not going to say I wasn't surprised, but I am a little disappointed. I was hoping that it was just a big like project coming along, maybe in the back of my mind, but things had to go. As I said in the uh, Medium post, I've never heard of the site in my life, uh, but 
in the medium post they basically talked about how they got into freelancing now uh the difficulties they had with making the uh channel a success and the the ultimate troubles that they went through uh i honestly you wouldn't have got that f you wouldn't have been able to tell from any of those videos they were honestly so good i honestly think that they they were really inspiring to, like they honestly watching them i would sit up and i would just start pacing my room coming up with ideas i would start talking to myself about like good like different things i used to kind of improvise my own video essays in my room just randomly uh just out of like honestly just the love of just kind of educating people a little bit i think it's maybe more of a sociopathic thing than anything but uh I just love the idea of video essays. I've always loved watching them. I always loved being educated as such by them because it wasn't bogged down by academic writing, but it wasn't so casual that it just f said bugger it and just throw out just random information without a course of or without any regard, if anything. I, I'm trying to s structure my words at the moment, but... I, I always wanted to do my own video essays. I always wanted to kind of go down that little path on, on YouTube for a while. Uh, but right now, this fucking, this dissertation, this dissertation right now is, uh, it, it, it's, it's scaring me a little. I'm just staring at my pile of books off screen right now, and I'm scared. I am very scared in in general, but... I always wanted to talk about music videos and stuff like that, uh, video essays, uh, as it seems to be nothing on it, uh, besides from maybe one um, uh, like video essay out there, which is actually decent, but I don't. I think it's just opinion. It wasn't based in research or anything like that. I don't know, but uh, I always wanted to talk about editing. I always wanted to talk about like little fundamentals of script writing a little bit, directing stuff like that. And also bring a little bit more of an academic edge just because I feel like a lot of them don't really, as someone who does use them as sources in their essays, the, the, the absolute disregard for citing work is kind of troubling sometimes when you're trying to track back to, oh, if you like this, then you'd like this and read more about this. And a lot of video essays do not do that. They completely just decided to drop kick the uh, citing and other books for the sake of the video essay. And I think sometimes you do wish to actually go out and find these books or cite them in your own work. To say that a YouTube channel has impacted my life, it probably is a little dramatic, but... It's, I would say that's a genuine, it's a, a genuine fact. Uh, as soon as I actually read that, I literally, I started talking to myself, saying, should I, like, what? Like, I, I honestly got really troubled by it, and I had to get my feelings out. And that's how much I loved that channel. It really has really made me into sort of like the academic that I am now a little bit. Yeah, honestly... I wish Taylor Ramos and Tony Zhao the best. I honestly, good luck in whatever you do. I really hope you two the best. And hopefully, I wish to. I honestly am inspired by your little journey that you both made and really do want to uh, venture down that road, if anything. So... I think, yeah, after this dissertation, I might actually do that. So thank you so much for what you've done, the work you've put in, and everything. Honestly, I would never have thought I would be sitting here going, thank God for academics. But honestly, loved your channel, loved everything about it. Really wish you guys the best. Uh... And that's all I got to say, really. So, just thank you in general. Thank you so much. I couldn't. I can't stress that enough. Thank you. How do I end this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to.
I don't know what to end this with, so I'm just gonna awkwardly sit here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm a bit of a mess right now. <laughs>